If you're looking for a Chinese drama that can be binged in a night or two, then here are 10 of the best short shows to watch. While there have been plenty of dramas about a modern woman traveling back to ancient time, none of these heroines also brought half of her apartment with her. The female lead in Love for Two Lives somehow had her apartment fused together with the bedchamber of a handsome emperor. As a result, she was able to bring several of her modern-day gadgets to the past, while also being able to travel between the different time periods. Starring Wang Lu Qing and Chong Bin, Love for Two Lives is a unique time-traveling tale when compared to other sea dramas. The wackiness of this rom-com does not overstay its welcome either, as the drama is less than 4 hours in total run time. You can find this show on the Tencent We TV YouTube channel or Viki. Destined to Meet You reverses the many cliches and tropes of a modern Chinese rom-com. Instead of an older rich male lead, this drama features an older rich female lead, who is played by Lu Yan Qi. Instead of a younger female love interest, it features a younger male love interest, who is played by Yang Zhe. This short drama is a little raunchier than other shows from the same genre, as it starts out with a one-night stand between the two leads. Their encounter eventually led to a contractual marriage, as the heroine needed to get married in order to be granted her inheritance. Destined to Meet You takes a little less than 4 hours to watch. You can find it on the Yuku YouTube channel. While popular, the Xianxia genre can be very intimidating for newbies due to the extremely long run times. If you want to see what the fuss is all about, but don't have a lot of free time on your hand, then you should check out The Origin of Eternity. In this short form show, the aforementioned Yang Zhe plays an immortal who must complete tribulations through three separate lifetimes in the mortal world in order to become the Heavenly Emperor. The female lead, played by Lin Yen Ro, is a fairy who wanted to repay the male lead for saving her. As a result, they spend three lifetimes of calamities together. The origin of eternity is a little over three hours long. You can find this Xian Xia drama on Viki and the Drama Box YouTube channel. If you are looking for a sizzling short romance, then you should check out Provoke. This Republican-era drama stars Li Muqin, as she seduces her way to a high official's home so that she can avenge her parents. However, she is met with resistance by the male lead, who is played by Zhao Yiqin, who has his own agendas. Their relationship gets very complicated, as they uncover the truth of their pasts, as well as other secrets they hid from each other. Provoke provides nearly six hours of suspense and tantalizing romance. If you haven't watched a Republican sea drama before, then this is a good place to start. You can view it on the Tencent Wii TV or Amazon Prime streaming platforms. Speaking of secret identities, the main leads from The Killer is also romantic hid their true selves from each other as well. Played by Hudan Dan, the female lead own a garment shop as her day job. Her husband, played by Yang Zhe, is a doctor by day. Both leads are actually stone-cold killers. As they got married and lived together under the same roof, it became even more difficult to hide their true identities from each other. The Killer is Also Romantic is a great costume drama for those you are looking for cool leads and steamy romance. The show is just three and a half hours long, so you can finish it in one sitting. You can watch this drama on the Mango TV YouTube channel. Butterfly Lover takes place in the same universe as The Killer is also romantic. In fact, the couple from the latter makes a brief appearance in the newer drama. When it comes to the story of Butterfly Lover, the female lead, who is played by Lu Xiaoyu, suffers from a butterfly curse that turns her into a vampire-like creature. To complicate matters, she is married to a general, played by the aforementioned Zhao Yiqin. The male lead has to walk a fine line, as he tries to save his wife, while also trying to stop the curse from spreading. Despite the low budget, Butterfly Lover looks stunning. Not to mention the darker elements add a bit of an edge to it, when compared to other costume sea dramas. This show has a runtime of over 7 hours. You can watch it over at Viki. Definitely Not Today is a black comedy drama that focuses on a lot of touchy subjects, including depression. It is completely different than what you usually see from Chinese television shows. With that said, Definitely Not Today is a fascinating watch, mostly due to the fantastic performances of Vivian Tian and Leon Jing Kong, as they portrayed two troubled young adults having a hard time surviving in society. 
Instead of acting like flawless heroes, the female lead is a hothead, while the male lead is cowardly. At just 3 hours long, I highly recommend checking out this one-of-a-kind drama if you are looking for something a little bit different from the usual fluff. You can find this show on Viki and the Yuku YouTube channel. While there are some great high school dramas, a lot of them can be quite long. If you are looking for a fast-paced show that you can easily finish in one sitting, then you should check out Back to 17. This drama stars Zhang Miaoyi, who you may know from When I Fly Towards You. In Back to 17, she plays a 27-year-old who traveled back in time to her high school days. Thinking that she was in a dream, she ended up kissing her crush, who is played by Fang Xiaodong. If you enjoy the cute and sweet vibes of Zhang Miaoyi's previous work, then you should love this short drama as well. The earwarming energetic soundtrack also adds to the youthful atmosphere. Back to 17 is only around 2 hours in length. Unfortunately, it is currently not available on any official streaming platforms with English subtitles. A Familiar Stranger is another darker-themed short-form costume drama. The female lead, played by both Qing and Song Zhaoyi, got tricked into having her face swapped with another person. She ends up getting married to a general, who is played by Cheng Lei. You may recognize him as the second male lead from My Journey to You. Wang Zexian plays the toxic but passionate prince, who ends up falling in love with the heroine, leading to a compelling love triangle. A Familiar Stranger is directed by Zhengqing Jie. This talented director also worked on the previously mentioned Destined to Meet You, Provoke, and Butterflied Lover. Out of these shows, I feel like this one is his best work yet. You can watch the 4-hour-long drama on Viki or the China Waste TV official YouTube channel. In my opinion, the best short C drama is an ancient love song. Played by Guijia Nan, the male lead travels back in time to an ancient period, where he ends up encountering the female lead. Played by Zhang Yiqin, the female lead had a dubious reputation. However, the male lead discovers that all the historical documents written about her were false, and ends up falling in love. What makes this drama stand out from other time-traveling shows is that the hero goes further back in the past each time he made the jump, crafting a very unique tale. An ancient love song is around 7 hours long. You can view it on Viki and the Drama Box YouTube channel. If you watch any of the aforementioned dramas, then I would like to read what you think about them in the comments section below. If you have a favorite short series that did not appear on my list, then you can also mention them. If you enjoy this top 10 video on short C dramas, then I would be eternally grateful if you can click the like and subscribe buttons. You can also check out my full video review of an ancient love song.